I know it's rare for an archive to completely turn us off to something, but this may have done it. Team Top 10 tends to travel on occasion, and on those travels we try to enjoy some of the finer luxuries of being out of state. You know, like hotel rooms. Nothing super fancy, of course, but chances are the next time we go out of state, we're all going to be sleeping in our cars. Quite honestly, you may feel the same after we dish out these top 10 secrets that hotels have been hiding from us. Before we ruin your desire to travel forever, why not hit that subscribe button and click the bell to be notified of the next time we ruin something for you. Hey guys, do I have to go back in the suitcase? Get down. It's, it's dark. It's, it's hot in here. It's really cramped. Get down. Oh, all right. Too cheap to buy me a plane ticket. Have to check me as baggage. Good grief. Number 10. Your reservation means nothing. Ah, you just got done booking your hotel and think you can just kick back, relax, and count down the days. Well, don't get too comfortable. You see, behind the scenes, something terrible is happening that could ruin your trip entirely. Though you believe the hotel now has you solidly booked for that day, it's probably still taking reservations. So, if you're the last to arrive, especially if you're only staying one night, you'll be walked to a nearby property. It's an obnoxious tactic used by airlines and car rental companies who figure that at least one person isn't going to show up. To guarantee your room, be there precisely at check-in time. Number 9. Fees aren't always set in stone. These days, it seems like no matter what resort you stay at, you'll be paying a fee. In some cases, such as in cities like Las Vegas, these fees can be a quarter or half the cost of the room. Take it from our writer, a Las Vegas local himself, that you shouldn't stand for them, especially if you don't use the amenities they supposedly cover. Negotiate with the front desk upon check-in and explain that you won't be using those conveniences. It's not guaranteed to work, but there's no harm in trying. If there was anything wrong with your room, don't hesitate to use that as leverage. Number 8. The safes aren't safe. The safes in hotel rooms are nothing more than a false sense of security. Sure, some random guest can't break in and steal your precious valuables, but that doesn't mean you're totally protected. Hotel staff typically do have access to these safes, even without the passcode you choose, and any item that's stolen or presumed lost isn't likely going to be insured. When it comes to your valuables, don't trust anyone especially the smiley housekeeping attendant. Someone that smiles that much is up to no good. Number 7. The Concierge Kickback Have you ever been wronged by a hotel concierge before? Maybe you asked for a local dive with great food, but were instead sent to a hole in the ground with stale bread. It's not necessarily that they have terrible taste. <laughs> but rather that they may get a kickback in the form of commission or free meal for every person they direct to that restaurant. In places of high tourism, your best bet is to ask a local and refer to the concierge only when you need directions to the fitness center. Number six, there may be something better. Like many travelers, you probably think that one king room is going to be identical to the next. But chances are, there are several rooms with at least one difference. The building's layout may have resulted in a slightly larger room or larger bathroom. Maybe one room has a nicer television or a much better view. Whatever the difference may be, just assume you're not being placed in the best option. Tell the agent it's a special occasion, or if you're feeling bold, tip them up front to try and get the best of what the hotel has to offer. Number five, don't drink from the glass. Most hotel rooms offer you at least two drinking glasses during your stay, but you should steer clear from ever using them. As detailed in a WAGA TV I-Team investigation, the glasses aren't always cleaned, and when they are, it typically consists of a very light scrub with a potentially dirty towel. Maybe the same one used to clean the toilet before being returned to the room. <laughs> to avoid swapping spit, or something worse, with the room's prior guest, 
always bring your own drinking apparatus, stick to bottled drinks, or clean dishes prior to using them. Number 4. Bedding isn't always washed Sure, you may be sleeping on clean sheets, but there's no guarantee that the comforter and blanket were run through the wash after the last guest left. In fact, to even assume that the sheets were even washed can be foolish. It's not unheard of for housekeeping to use the teenager's method of determining cleanliness. If it doesn't have an odor and isn't stained, there's a chance it'll be deemed clean enough to remain on the bed for the next guest. An anonymous receptionist spilled the beans to Reader's Digest that, in their unnamed chain, blankets were washed once a week, while bedspreads, if not stained, could go a month without being cleaned. Ew. Number 3. A Germaphobe's Nightmare Okay, so even if the drinking glasses were properly cleaned and all of your bedding has been through the wash, don't assume everything else is free of dirt, grime, and germs. Items like the telephone, alarm clock, faucets, light switches, thermostats, and doorknobs either get no attention or are given the once-over with a rag that's already been in places you don't even want to think about. Bacteria like E. coli, staph, and even MSRA have been found on what's often been regarded as the most disgusting hotel object, the television remote. Number 2. Housekeeping Revenge when you really think about it, you don't know anything about the person that's been put in charge of cleaning your room while you're out enjoying yourself. Can you really trust them with your belongings, especially if you haven't tipped them throughout your stay? The sad truth is, no, you can't. Gross horror stories can be found all over the web of experiences involving toothbrushes, including Ronnie the Travel Guru, who believes during one stay, her brush had been swapped for the one housekeeping cleaned with. Unfortunately, once you leave your room, your belongings are at the mercy of housekeeping, so either treat them well or hide everything you don't want to be touched. Number one, death is commonplace. <laughs> okay, it's an unavoidable truth that death happens, and with the number of people that cycle in and out of hotel rooms, well, let's just say it's likely that someone has died in a room you've slept in, and that's not even the most unsettling part of it. According to Jacob Tomsky, former hotel insider, once a dead body is removed, the room is immediately sanitized and made available to the next guest. So yes, you could be staying in a room that somebody died in that same day. I must move the coffin or the chandelier. To make matters worse, sometimes the body isn't even found by the hotel staff as it's not unheard of for murder victims to be hidden under the mattress and left for the first person with a good sense of smell. Very interesting. Hey, you made it to the end of the video without gagging, so brag about it in the comments, and don't forget to hit that like button. <laughs>